Hey, this is Steve Thiel with BC Grooves, and this is part three of search engine optimization. And in this video, we're focused in on on page optimization. Now, on page optimization is relatively straightforward. You don't have to be an SEO expert to do this, it's really just lever pulling. And if you know the levers to pull, you can make it happen. So, the first and most important element in on page optimization is the page title. Now you want to include your keyword phrase within the title tag and you only want to include one phrase. And make sure that you're not going over 70 characters in the title tag otherwise Google will cut off the the title itself. And you can see to the right we've got uh, the keyword which is bolded in the title when you do a Google search which our keyword here is business catalyst and after the keyword itself in the title we are including the company name we typically like to do this and separating it with a pipe or a dash and it's usually a good idea to do that at the end of the title tag and lead with the keyword phrase the second important element within the head of your HTML is the uh, meta description. And again, we want to limit ourselves to 150 to possibly 160 characters. And if you go over this, Google will cut off your description and put three dots at the end of it. And as well, include one keyword phrase in there, and Google will go ahead and bold that for you. And one other consideration here is the uh, meta keywords. Completely worthless. Don't include that in your head tags area. Uh, Google completely ignores it, so don't even waste your time. So after your title tag and meta description, the most important elements on the page to include your keyword are the heading tags. So the primary heading, which is your H1, you most absolutely want to include the keyword once within that. And then as well, your secondary heading, which is your H2, include that there as well. And then your tertiary, which is your H3. That is optional. You don't have to include it there. But if you can, try and include it in an H3. And you can see in our example here, um, the H1 here, six ways to sell email marketing. Our keyword here is email marketing. So it's included here in the H1. And then below that we've got our H2, which is the subheadline. And you can see that we've got it included uh, as well here in uh, the second line here, email marketing campaigns. And then as well down here at the very bottom uh, of the screenshot, you can see that we've got uh, email marketing in the uh, H3 within the content area. All right, next on the list of on-page optimization is including the keyword within the body of the copy itself. So include it in the copy no more than uh, a couple times. You really want a keyword density of 2 to 4% on the page. And the way that you figure keyword density is uh, run, a, run a word count on the page and you know if you've got 400 words on the page you really don't want to include it more than four times and if you're already including it say once in the h1 and once in the h2 you probably only want to include it one or maybe two times in the actual copy itself so keyword density is important especially with the recent updates that google has made you don't want to look like you're over optimizing your pages so Definitely uh, don't get too crazy with stuffing keywords into the page itself. But when you do include it in the body itself, try and bold the keyword or italicize it when it makes sense. Uh, again, you don't want to over-optimize every single page, so only do it where it makes sense. And you can see I've got that here in this example of six ways to sell email marketing. Another place that we want to include the keyword is with our images. So within an image, you should always include an alt and title tag. That's the way that search engines can tell what the relevancy is of a particular image. So you want to include the keyword within the alt tag and title tag. 
and also consider including it in the URL path itself or the file name. Uh, this is going to help return results when someone does an image search and it'll pop your image up to the top of the page. But it's another place to get uh, a keyword in on the page. But again, do consider our keyword density limitations 2 to 4% two to on the page. All right, the next component of on-page optimization is linking. And we want to consider internal links and external links. So internal links, you want to move up the hierarchy of the sitemap. So you can see breadcrumbs is a great way to do that. Uh, you can see we're within a blog and we've got, we're basically at the fourth level. Um, the, the post is the fourth level. If you were to move up, you're going to go to the category within the blog. Second level is the blog itself and then all the way up to the home page. So you want to provide that that linking up structure within uh, within your overall design of the website. And then as well, make sure that you're including links within the content uh, to other deep level pages within the website. So if there's a relevant blog post, product page, uh, anything like that, try and link as often in the content as you can uh, when relevant. And then another factor to consider is external links. So links that are going off of your client's website. Now you want to be careful here. You want to make sure that the link is useful and uh, relevant and you want to make sure that it's not a competitor. Uh, you typically want to uh, open these up in a new tab uh, and you can do that with target blank. Uh, and then if you're not sure about an external link, I just wouldn't include it. But if you absolutely have to and you don't know if you can trust that particular link, uh, include an attribute called rel nofollow. So those are the basics of on-page optimization. Uh, and that's it's really just lever pulling. And about anybody can do it. Make sure that you've done you know keyword research and you've identified what keyword is going to be going towards which pages and then from there just make sure that the keyword is included in the um, title tag, the meta description, your heading tags h1, h2, h3 is optional and then also try and include it in the uh, the content itself uh, with bold italics and within the images and make sure that you're linking. Now some advanced tactics that you can include are uh, here on the screen. So closely connected terms. So if you have a page that's talking about cats, say it's a pet supply store, you want to have closely related terms on that page so Google knows and is confident that this page is actually about cats. So you could include you know, feline, that's pretty close. Uh, tiger, you're definitely getting farther away, and pet, you're getting even farther away from that initial target keyword of cat. But try and include those closely connected terms so Google can make a judgment on the relevancy of the overall page. And then as well, consider block level optimization. Don't just include the uh, the keywords at the top of the page. You know, make sure that you're spacing them throughout the content. So at the header, uh, middle, and footer of the content itself, make sure it's distributed. And then as well, make sure that the page is relevant and that the happiness of the visitor is being measured. Uh, Google has a lot of ways of getting uh, analytical data from people using Chrome or Google Analytics or Google Plus, there's a lot of ways that they can get data. So they're going to look at the length of time that people are visiting the page and the number of time that people are returning to the page. And that, that takes an effect uh, with on-page optimization and the ranking of the page. And the last one is make sure that the content is unique and well formatted. Uh, typically a longer page uh, will rank better uh, and make sure that you're using media on the page. So images and make sure that the format is unique. If you can in include user generated content, this would be things like comments. Uh, make sure that you, you try and include that as well. 
And then also look at reading level and spelling and grammar. Uh, Google is really particular now about making sure that uh, the spelling and grammar on the page is meticulous. So uh, include that as far as checking uh, the content that your client is providing. All right, so in the next video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to actually do on-page optimization in Business Catalyst.